In this video, I'm gonna break down the building envelope and HVAC system of one of our latest net zero builds. I'll get into the insulation levels, the vapor barrier, the air barrier, and of course the heating and cooling and ventilation system. I'm Casey Gray, the founder of The Conscious Builder, and on this channel, we help you build and live more consciously. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and don't forget to check out the links in the description below. With everything that's going on in the industry, you need to be prepared to handle any kind of conversation effectively, especially the tough talks. Conflict drains your energy and time, and this trickles into every area of your business and life, hurting your health, your relationships, and ultimately your bottom line. I've created two resources for you here at the Conscious Builder Academy called Priming for Tough Conversations and the Conflict Resolution Toolkit. My wife Natasha, who is a former psychotherapist, lent her expertise to creating these PDF handbooks that will help you show up to any talk calm, prepared, and in control, able to turn conflict into opportunity. They are available individually or in a bundle at a great price. So check it out now at the link below or go to ConsciousBuilderAcademy.com. Now, back to the video. This build is just under 5,000 square feet with a slab on grade ICF foundation. Under the slab, we have a total of six inches of EPS for an R24. The main walls of the home go drywall, then R18 spray foam in a two by six wood framed wall. The spray foam is our vapor barrier. Then we have OSB and we have a Pro Klima Solitex Adhero for the air barrier. And then we have an R16 EPS, that's four inches. And then Tyvek on top of that, just to make our flashing details easy with two by four strapping and then the siding. The main addict is R12 of spray foam with R60 of blown fiberglass over top of it. The main floor roof, we have a couple of bump outs on the main floor. Those are R42 full of spray foam. And the sloped roof and bonus room above the garage, just bonus because it was added in kind of after, <laughs> is an R31 spray foam pretty well everywhere. And our garage walls are, are insulated with R20 fiberglass, but we're not necessarily heating that. The last thing is the flat roof portion, which is a deck outside of the master bedroom, has R31 spray foam. On designs like this, it's difficult to keep the air barrier continuous. All these bump outs and the flat roofs and these rooms over the garages, for example, make the transitions really, really difficult. Because of these details, which do look great, we weren't able to get the home as tight as we would like. So we used aero barrier to improve it. With this, we got the ACH down by 68%. And if you're interested in learning more about that and how the process works, we did a separate video, but we'll share the link in the description down below. For heating and cooling this house, we went with the Mitsubishi Zuba Central system because this is a fossil fuel free home. We also have a heat pump hot water tank and a fully ducted ERV system. Lastly, we also installed a 12 kilowatt PV system with a battery backup. Here are some of the current interior picks because we're not 100% done yet, but it's still looking fantastic. Glad you tuned in until the end. Be sure to check out our video from last week about the 100 year old deep energy retrofit project that we did. And until next time, I'm Casey Gray and remember to live consciously.